They're outside the 10, so it is first and 10. For San Diego, Drew Brees has thrown three crucial interceptions today. That's hurt the offense, obviously. That's batted down by Chris Cooper. Incomplete second down and 10. Right up in his face. We talked to Brees on Friday. He is not a very tall guy to begin with. No, and I tell you what, he, Drew Brees is a good quarterback. Tomlinson's a good running back. This Raider defense, though, they've caught the A game. You know, sometime D, you know, Tiger Woods says, I don't have the A game. Well, the Oakland Raider defense brought their Tiger game today because they have been aggressive as we've seen them all year long. And it's been sort of the missing ingredient. Everybody wants to talk about the Oakland offense. The question has been the defense. No question today. Second down and 10 outside the 10. Drop play hand off to Tomlinson. Stuffed and grabbed on the play by Eric Barton, who began the game with a series of great defensive plays. And looks like he's finishing the same way he started. Well, it's been Barton. It's been Romanowski. It's been Coleman. It's been interceptions by Shaw, interceptions by James. It's been the total package from Chuck Bresnahan's defense. At the nine, third and eight, and Brees looking for a second option. Chased by Barton, chased by Perella. And zeroing in is Dorsett. He knocks him out of bounds after a gain of two. In fact, they're going to let the clock continue to roll, and it's going to go under five. They're at the Raiders' seven. If I had to pick one play out of the second half that was sort of the play in this game, I think it was that fourth and one that San Diego ran against Callahan's defense where they ran wide with LaDainian Tomlinson and Dorsett came up and made that big hit and stopped him. They had momentum, they had a drive, the game was close, and the defense of the Raiders took away their hope and then took it and put it out of reach. Fourth and six at the Oakland seven. Breeze deflected, ricochet is incomplete. Raiders will take over on downs. The defense has done it all day, and they do it again. Only fitting that we end on a down, fourth and out. Good tough for success. You run 62 plays as the Raiders have. 40 of them have been in San Diego's territory. Pretty good equation. Second down, 11. Back at the six. Chargers have two timeouts. Oakland has two timeouts. Raiders on the move. Letting that clock run. Middleton with the block for Wheatley. He finds a gap, fumbles the ball, and it's loose inside the 15. And they'll unravel the pile at the 12. I think a charger was on it initially, but now it's a dog pile. Anybody could have it. It's a dog pile. <laughs> Don't you remember Bill, Bill Cosby's old game, yeah, Buck that, Buck? That's right. That's what the, it was the yeah, dog yeah. pile. He got done, everybody fell down. It was... Raiders keep it, they retain it. The difference now at this stage of the game with John Gruden coaching the team and Bill Callahan coaching the team. Well, you both will finish you off. You know, you see the fumble by why well, really the ball's ripped out, and that's what a defense's goal is at this point. That's why you should, should have two arms on the ball, two hands on the ball. The difference between Bill Callahan and John Gruden is, though, Gruden would run it out. Bill Callahan takes kind of the never hit a man when he's down, kick him, it's easier. I mean, they'll open it up sometimes when you expect them just to be running it. San Diego just burned their second time out. They've got one left. Uh, NFL.com poll question. Who would you pick as the 2002 NFL MVP? Some pretty good names. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's either Favre, especially if he wins tonight, or Rich Gannon. If you've been paying attention over the last couple months, it's that guy right there, Rich Gannon, number 12 of the Oakland Raiders. Brett Favre, you know, God bless him, wonderful year, playing a little bit hurt. This quarterback is having the kind of game and putting up the kind of numbers that MVPs dream about. I played with a guy that won a few MVPs, and, you know, Joe Montana never put up the numbers that Rich Gannon's putting up. Gannon has already set an all-time record today in a single season with 10 300-yard passing games, and he came in to today number one in the league in attempts, number one in the league in completions, number one in the league in yards per game, second-rated quarterback in the NFL. Third and five, and the Raiders have converted their last five third downs from their 13. 
good time for Gannon. And he does it again to Doug Jolly, the rookie tight end. He works on Harrison. They get the first down. He is up to the 32, an 18-yard gain. And Jolly has had a spectacular day with over 100 yards receiving on six receptions. Hey, just about the time you figure, well, they're just going to do little safe things and just run the ball. The Raiders open it up a little bit and, and hit their secret weapon for the day. Mark it down, December 8th, 2002, was Doug Jolly Day in the Oakland offense. The Jolly Roger for the Raiders. Yeah, I can't believe you said that. By the way, if you want to vote Over for, your, yards, for your MVP, cast your vote at NFL.com. First and 10, 31-yard line. Wheatley in the backfield, and he gets the handoff with Donnie Edwards smothering him at 32 and a gain of about a yard. Second down and nine. Well, the Raiders lost in overtime in Oakland earlier this season to San Diego. So now these two teams are tied with the win apiece against each other, but the Raiders, if they go on to win, and San Diego just burned their last time out, Raiders would go to 9-4, and four, San Diego would drop to 8-5. and five. And don't forget, 60 Minutes is coming up next, except on the West Coast, where it will be seen at its normally scheduled time. Hey, you talk about a tough decision like, how do you pick an MVP in this league? I got another tough one for you. Yeah. How do you pick Coach of the Year? You know, is it is it John Gruden with the, what, the job he's done with Tampa? Is it Tony Dungy and the job he's done in Indy? Is it Bill Callahan and the job he's done with these these Oakland Raiders? And Marty, Schottenheimer. Teams, Marty Schottenheimer. Marty um, Schottenheimer. Mike the, Sherman the, at Green Bay. The below the radar guys. Tom Coughlin fighting the salary cap in Jacksonville. You know, Brian Billick in Baltimore winning with less than stellar ta talent, or at least being close to 500 with less than stellar talent. It was tough last year, as I recall, and it's going to be difficult this year to vote for a coach of the year. But Bill Callahan's Oakland Raiders will make a heck of a, a bid for him in that category over the next three weeks when they finish this season off, if they finish 12-4 and four and with home field advantage. They've got Garner in the backfield, second down long eight from the 32. San Diego out of timeouts, and outside it goes to Charlie Garner, trying to stay in bounds, caught up the ball. It was down, they say, at the 40-yard line. By the way, that, that last graphic we showed you of the standings did include the win today for the Raiders. Win. And more importantly, too, look at what they have coming up. You know, a nice weather game here today in San Diego. Where do they go? Then they go to Miami. Pretty nice weather there. They have to worry about the cold at home in Oakland against Denver or at home against Kansas City. So it's tough scheduling-wise, but Bill Callahan's football team has got the best thing going for them. They've got the weather, and they've got two games at home to finish the year. And I don't know too many people that want to come to the black hole come playoff time if he gets home field advantage. Crockett in the backfield on third and one. Broke a tackle initially of Adrian Dingle and then slides his way close to a first down. But I think perhaps even shy as we're going to tick our way down to the two-minute warning. Now he has made every, speaking of Crockett, he has made every third and one this year and converted that to a first down. Let's see, it's going to be short. So it'll be fourth and more than a yard when we come back at the two-minute